It's been a month since I last shared an update on my game Get a Little Gold. Today I'll be showing you my development progress, revealing some challenges I faced while porting my most successful Flash game to Unity, and giving you a glimpse into my daily development routine. But more importantly, stay tuned till the end of the video as I'm planning to reveal how you can get early access to the game before its official release. Now, for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Yaroslav and I'm a game developer from Ukraine. Currently, my focus is on Get a Little Gold, an idle incremental game that I hope you'll enjoy as much as I do. This game was originally published as a browser-based project on the popular web portal Congregate back in 2016. However, with the demise of Flash technology in 2020, I switched to Unity and am now working on bringing Get a Little Gold to mobile devices. As I mentioned in my previous devlog video, which you can find in the description below, I'm currently working to complete a playable beta version and release it as soon as possible. In the last devlog, I concentrated on refining the game's main menu, enhancing UI elements to make them more user-friendly and concise. This month, my focus has shifted to the Endless Challenge mode and Global Upgrades framework. The Endless Challenge is a unique game mode, because, well, as the name suggests, it never ends. You can keep playing it for as long as you like. However, once you collect 5 million gold, you'll unlock the option to trigger an explosion. When you initiate the explosion, you'll have exactly one minute to collect as much gold as possible, which will then be converted into valuable resources called shards. In other words, the explosion effectively completes your quote-unquote endless challenge and rewards you with shards based on your gold earnings during the one minute frenzy. Shards, in turn, can be used to enhance regular challenges and, more importantly, to purchase persistent global upgrades that carry over between challenges. To make Get a Little Gold more visually appealing, I've introduced special graphics for the gold generator during the explosion mode. In case you are wondering what the gold generator is, it's that mysterious floating stone you see in the middle of the screen. It produces some gold when you click on it. Hence the name, Gold Generator. In the Flash version of the game, there were no unique graphics for the explosion mode, but for the mobile version I decided to give it a makeover. Therefore I adorned the humble stone with a bunch of dynamite sticks. Now it looks so much better, I hope you like it. In case you do like the upgraded Gold Generator, please don't forget to also hit that like button underneath this video and subscribe to my channel especially if you are interested in more devlog videos like this in the future, and perhaps even consider trying out the game once it released. Your support means a world to me. In the Flash version of the game, once you reached 5 million gold, the game presented you with this ugly red explode button. For the mobile version of Get a Little Gold, I wanted something more appealing. Therefore, I came up with the idea of wooden sign featuring a dynamite picture on it. This sign appears attached to the gold generator by a swinging rope. I've also created similar graphics for a swinging sign displaying a timer and information on how much gold you've collected, which becomes visible once you activate the explosion. To finish up with the endless challenge, I developed a script that calculates the number of shards based on the amount of gold collected and tested everything to ensure that players receive the rewards as intended. Now, after completing the explosion version of the gold generator, I decided to enhance the game even further by introducing a variety of generators, each tailored to a specific regular challenge. Since there are 10 regular challenges in the game, I dedicated myself to crafting 10 unique types of gold generators. In my opinion, not only will it improve the visual aspect of the game, but it's also gonna help players to instantly identify which regular challenge they are in with a quick glance. Furthermore, when you choose a specific challenge from the main menu, such as the billion or trillion challenge, you'll now see the corresponding gold generator displayed in the main menu window. This provides players 
with a clear visual verification of the challenge they've selected. Once I finished up with the Endless Challenge, Explosion Mode and Gold Generators, my focus shifted to developing the global upgrade system for Get a Little Gold. Unlike regular upgrades that can be bought with gold and reset each time you start a new challenge, global upgrades are purchased using shards through the main menu interface and, as mentioned earlier, they persist across challenges. Currently, the game features 30 different global upgrades, which can be leveled up to enhance their effects. And while most of these upgrades have a maximum level limit, some of them can be leveled up endlessly. With all the necessary graphics for global upgrades already at my disposal, my next step involves resizing the upgrade icons to suit the higher resolutions used in modern smartphones. After importing these icons as PNG files and adding them to the assets folder in my Unity project, I can proceed to create c -sharp scripts that enable global upgrade system to operate. The process of porting code from Flash to Unity is a considerably more complex task than porting graphics. This is because Flash games were coded in ActionScript 3, whereas modern Unity games utilize the c programming language. As a result, I have no other option but to rewrite the code almost entirely from scratch. However, please don't think that I'm complaining. Although the process of porting code may appear time-consuming, it serves a dual purpose. Not only does writing the code aid me in gaining a deeper understanding of the C-sharp programming language, but it also provides the opportunity to come up with a new and enhanced ideas for the game's architecture. This, in turn, often leads to improvements and even entirely new game mechanics that were absent from the original version of the game. Now it's time to delve into creating the in-game interface for purchasing global upgrades. Unlike regular upgrades, which become available when players reach specific conditions or earn certain medals by completing challenges, global upgrades have no particular requirements for unlocking. On the other hand, players can't simply purchase any global upgrade they desire. Instead, the game presents them with a randomly generated set of three global upgrades from which they must choose. There's also a paid option to reroll the selection of available upgrades, but each time players use it, the shard cost for the next reroll increases. Additionally, the set of available upgrades changes each time a player makes a purchase. Apparently, in the Flash version of Get a Little Gold, the Global Upgrades Purchase menu appeared cluttered and overwhelmed with interface elements. Therefore, in the Unity version of the game, I decided to make it more concise and user-friendly. Do you think I succeeded in achieving this goal? Please, let me know in the comments. Now, after months of work, I've achieved quite a bit. We now have a fully functional Endless Challenge, revamped visuals for gold generators in regular challenges, and most importantly, an almost complete system of global upgrades. However, there are still several essential tasks to address before I can release the beta version of the game. First and foremost, I need to finalize the global upgrade system. Currently, you can purchase these upgrades, but they don't provide any bonuses yet. Second, I must develop an offline progress mechanic, enabling players to end progress even when they turned off the game. Last, but certainly not least, I absolutely must implement a safe system to ensure that progress persists between gaming sessions. Because as of now, every time you launch the game, you basically start from scratch. Psst. By the way, do you remember my promise to explain how to get an early access to get a little gold game on mobile? Well, I'll leave a link to the game Discord community in the description below. Join us if you want to gain individual access once the game becomes available for testing. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more devlog videos just like this. Have a fantastic day! See you in the next video.